Hi, it's Bimmerzen with another short video and in this video I'm going to test my 3D printed Wellspring compressor for the BMW's N42 and N46 engines and I'm going to test out how much torque the tool can take before it breaks and I'm doing this uh, basically just to show you guys that this tool is definitely strong enough to compress the springs even if it is 3D printed out of plastic and uh, I also want to know how much the tool can take, so uh, let's get into the video. First I have to mention that this is not the latest version of the tool, because if you look here you can see that the Z seam is on this side, and on the new tools I have the seam on the inner side so it's much less likely that the tool will split on the Z seam so uh, let's see what it can do so I'm just gonna put it on the cylinder head this is my test engine on the engine stand now I'm going to secure the tool with a 10 millimeter nut and I'm just gonna make it hand tight and now I'm going to use torque wrench and I have it set to 5 newton meters. Okay, let's see what happens. And at this point the spring is already compressing. I don't have to put a lot of torque onto the screw. You can also see that I've put a little bit of grease on the treads. And I'm also going to compress the other side so that the load is uh, symmetrical. At this point you could easily remove the collets or the valve keepers and do the replacement, but we want to test out the tool so I'm going to intentionally over compress the spring and the spring is going to be fully compressed. So let's see what happens, which part of the tool will fail first. My bet is that the tool will split in half right here. You can see that there's plenty of room to do the replacement and the spring is probably fully compressed at this point. You can see that there's a little bit of gap here and the tool is starting to bend so now it's probably gonna break soon. The sockets are still holding up, so the sockets won't break. Yeah, and now I think that the tool is starting to break right here. Yep, it's going. So as you can see, the tool is breaking. So the torque is not actually that important. The important part is that you don't really over compress the spring. And even if you over compress the spring, you will see that the tool is bending and at that point you should definitely stop. Well, the interesting part is that the threads do not fail. So I think that putting metal threads or metal thread inserts will not do anything. So uh, the threads are strong enough, but I would have to reinforce the body of the tool. But I don't think that it's necessary because, as I said, you're really not compressing spring anymore. You're just destroying the tool at this point. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> Yeah, the tool is gone. So, as you can see, we don't have catastrophic failure. 
and uh, we can still just release the tension and remove the tool so nothing's gonna fly out in your face. At least I hope so. So I'm gonna conclude this test and I'm going to remove the tool now. And here it is. Let's inspect the sockets. They don't seem to be deformed at all. So they are pretty strong. They will not fail. This is the other socket also. There is some sign of uh, wear here in the hole, but otherwise it is uh, holding up very well. And here's the tool, the aftermath. It is uh, broken, but the failure is not catastrophic. So I'm kind of pleased with that. And also the threads, threads will not fail. So I hope that I've demonstrated that the tool is definitely strong enough to do the job. It doesn't fail catastrophically. So if you want to see how to do valve stamp seal replacement on these engines using this tool, I'm going to put a link down below and up in the card to one of my videos. And if you want to buy this tool, I'm going to put the link to my web store down below. Well, actually, why don't I just show you the new version? So the Z-SIM is moved to the back. And one very important difference is that the walls are 50% thicker than on the previous version. And this should give it 50% uh, more strength. Thanks for supporting my work and keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.